Hi everyone, this is Scott, aka Cineram, aka the Professor, as some of the guys like to call me on here. This is the Movie Reviewers 100 collaboration channel of movie reviewers, and we do new themes every week. And I uh, do the videos on Thursday, wrapping up the week, and this week I'm wrapping up Alfred Hitchcock week. And I look back at the other five reviews that have been posted already this week, and I haven't seen three of the movies, at least, that they're talking about. Which is sad, because this is Alfred Hitchcock we're talking about here, one of the great American, uh, well, actually, he's not American, but, uh, you know, I mean, he made a lot of movies in America. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, along with Frank Capra and John Ford, he's like one of the greats of all time. Uh, you know, a huge, huge, huge influence on cinema. Um, and three of the movies that the guys talked about here, on here, I haven't even seen. So, um, I have seen a bunch of Hitchcock movies, but not The Lady Vanishes, and I haven't seen Lifeboat. Uh, and what was the other one? Darn it. Oh, To Catch a Thief. Right. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen those. Um, the one I wanted to talk about today was Rope. Um, and this is not my all-time favorite Hitchcock movie, but it certainly is way up there. My favorite is probably Rear Window. Uh, and Vertigo I like quite a, quite a lot. And by a strange coincidence, both Rope and Vertigo and uh, Rear Window all star Jimmy Stewart, uh, who's one of the best actors that ever lived. Um, and uh, he has kind of a supporting role in Rope. He's not the main character, but it's a very, very significant part. Um, Rope came out in 1948. I have my little notes here so I can uh, keep track of uh, what I'm talking about. Um, a lot of these actors I'm not really familiar with. Um, the main characters are played by John Dahl and Farley Granger. Uh, they're a couple friends uh, of a guy named David. Um, and uh, at the very, in the very first scene of the movie, basically, they kill him. Uh, he's in their apartment and they strangle him with a length of rope and then they hide his body in this cabinet. Uh, because they're expecting a whole bunch of people to come over for like a uh, you know brief dinner party or something like that. It's it's crazy. Um, why did they do it? They did it just to see if they could, just to see if they could get away with it. You know, they sort of dared each other to do it. Um, and um, this plays into uh, something that their former professor, a guy named Rupert uh, Cadell, uh, was talking about how uh, society would benefit from the. Uh, careful uh, elimination of certain members of the populace that didn't prove to be all that uh, worthwhile keeping around and were just basically taking up space. Um, so they took that little little notion of his to, you know, its logical extreme and killed their friend and then hid his, um, <laughs> hid his body in the apartment where they're planning on having guests over, including uh, David's girlfriend, Janet, and his mother and his father. <laughs> and of course, Jimmy Stewart himself, Rupert Caldo, their teacher. Um, so, uh, so they're playing this little game. They, they set the table up. They set the, uh, the cabinet up so the food can be set out on the cabinet with a cloth over it, you know, and people can eat in the living room with the body right there amongst them. Um, just, you know, just, just to see if they could really, just to see if, uh, if they could get away with it. Um, and, uh, and yeah, they're clearly a couple of very, very sinister guys. One of them expresses a little bit of remorse and the other guy is just, you know, don't express remorse, okay? You can't give in to those feelings right here, you know? We're superior or something like that because, you know, we can do this and not be emotionally affected by it. But of course they are. Um, so um, so uh, during the course of the evening, their behavior strikes some of the people as, as rather odd. And of course, everyone's wondering where David is because he's supposed to be there. They're all asking for him because, heck, most of the people there are, are acquaintances of him, friends. Uh, his family and everything like that. They just don't understand why he hasn't shown up. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jimmy Stewart is watching everyone very carefully, and especially the two, uh, the two murderers, whom he doesn't realize are murderers, but he's sort of suspecting that something strange is going on here. Now, now the unique thing about this movie, of course, if you're familiar with it, you probably already know this, is that the movie was shot entirely in long takes with that cut it cross cutting. Um, there are a couple of instances where there is a reaction shot, but for the most part, Hitchcock designed each shot so that it would run the entire 10 minute reel of film in the camera unbroken. And the camera has to move around to capture the action, go back and forth between characters, or switch to a different angle, and so it has to physically move. And this was very, very difficult in the 40s because back then cameras were huge, they were heavy. You couldn't just, you know, stick a, a, a red digital camera on a steady cam and, and be good to go, you know? I mean, they could do the entire movie in one shot now if they really wanted to, but they couldn't do that back then. So some of the transitions between shots, you know, is a little obvious, even though they try to hide it by zooming in on someone's back or zooming in on, on, a, on a flat, dark surface and then moving out again, you know, to sort of hide that. So it's, it's kind of obvious, but it's still, it's quite a feat, quite a technical feat. 
Uh, and um, the whole, basically, the set of the apartment is set up sort of like a sitcom where one wall is never seen. It's just, you know, basically the stage with the walls and the, the view out the window, of course, artificially is dimming the light as the sun goes down and what have you. Um, I got a chance to see this movie a couple times recently because it's been on cable. It's really, really good. Uh, all the acting is really great. Um, and like I said, it's not my favorite Hitchcock movie, but it's certainly up there. It's, it's, it's a good one. Very, very good one. Um, by the way, I just wanted to give a, a thanks to, a, a shout out to Al, uh, who's our boss. And he made a video recently in which he uh, asked everyone to join Join in my contest. Uh, I've got a contest I'm doing on my channel right now, and so uh, if you want to head on over to my personal channel and, and check that out and possibly enter, that would be great. Uh, so thanks very much for watching, and uh, we'll have a new theme starting, of course, tomorrow. Uh, so I hope you'll tune in for that. See you again real soon. Thanks.